well hello everyone welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to get them curls popping sis so right here i'm just showing you i have freshly shampooed hair um no product is on it just showing you the before on how it look so next i applied the honey almond leave-in conditioner and i'm going to just spray this over my hair and detangle my hair thoroughly make sure it's thoroughly detangled i also use the honey almond shampoo and conditioner it is good for color treated hair and also thick curly hair so the items that you're going to need is a water bottle you also are going to need the honey almond styling foam and i also use the organic styling gel all these items can be found on my website for purchase Styling tools you'll need is a wide tooth comb, a denim brush or tangle teaser, and a fine tooth rat tail comb. And then you'll also need some clips. This is section the other hair out the way. Okay, so I like to start at the front of my hair, being how my hair is cut into like a mohawk type taper cut, but do whatever works best for you, sis. But I'm starting in the front. So all I'm doing right here is just sectioning my hair out to work in small sections. Next, what I'm doing right here is just taking a water bottle and spritzing my hair just to get a little bit damp. Not dripping, but damp. And now I'm taking the honey almond foam, just one pump, and applying it to my hair. Next, I'm taking this fine tooth comb. And I'm just evenly distributing the product throughout my hair. You definitely can use a denim brush if you would like to. But again, I've already thoroughly detangled my hair. So me going in with this fine tooth comb is not hurting my hair at all. But as y'all can see, the foam will get your curls popping, sis. Um, I love the foam. Next, what I'm going to be doing is actually applying some of the organic styling gel on top of the foam. The reason why I do this is because I, that gel gives it an extra... Um, firm hold the curls are popping without the um, without the gel but sis the gel really gets it popping and the gel allows me to wear this style for about a week into I reshampoo and redo it again it this can definitely probably last you two weeks but sis I be working out and I be sweating and sis I gotta wash my hair like every week okay that's my life so this next part is very important so what I'm doing right here is I'm really going in and defining my curls. So I'm just separating the hair where it naturally separates. You see right there where it naturally separates. I'm not forcing anything and I'm just kind of like twirling it around my fingers. Um, this is because I want to get that extra definition. You by all means can just call the product through and you have um, that good definition but what I like to do is take the pieces individually where it naturally separates and just kind of twirl it around my fingers and just to give it that extra pop. And that's literally what I do around my whole head. Sometimes when I'm lazy, I just comb the product through and just leave it as you've seen it when I before I start twirling it. But right here, I like the way how this look. looks. Look at them curls, sis. It's just like little Shirley, T Shirley Temple curls, like... Sis, you popping. You look at that. You popping. You popping. So that's all I do, child. First of all, Lord deliver me from my facial expressions during this video. Y'all don't mind me. So I'm going to show y'all again. I spritz my water. I'm taking some foam. I'm going to apply that to my hair. And then I'm going to layer the um, organic gel on top of this. And I'm just combing that foam through. And look at that. Look at them curls just right there. See, you could, you could really stop right there, sis. Like you really could, but I'm extra. I'm just trying to get a difference between me shingling it with my hands and just combing it through. Like 
I mean, you could stop there, but I'm extra. So I'm gonna take it a step further and add the organic gel and twirl it around my little finger. So I'm just showing you my gel. So let's do this again. So as you see, I'm just gradually pulling pieces of my hair apart and I'm not forcing anything. I'm just pulling it where it naturally separates and just twirling it around my fingers. I guess people call it, I don't know if this is called shingling. I just call it the twirl, okay? We're going to do the twirl and bam, look at those curls pop in. That's how you get that definition. If you really want that definition, take your time, sis. This is not a wash and go. This is a wash and you got to put in some work if you got my hair tight. Curls popping. Okay, sis, we see you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and probably speed this up because I'm pretty much doing the same thing. If you're still kind of lost, you know, this is the power of the internet and you can rewind and slow it down when you need to, but... I'm going to speed this up because I'm pretty much doing the same thing. And uh, let me stop talking. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, really not bye-bye, but keep watching. So y'all get the drill. So let me just slow it down for the people in the back who still don't understand. This slow motion is for you. Um, some people just need to see it in extra slow motion. So you can see pretty much what I'm doing. Twirling it around my fingers. Juicy curls. Look at that. Look at all that juiciness that's happening right now. And I'm just taking it where it naturally separates and twirl 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 sis let go let go and let god that's all i'm doing twirling and then letting go and let god that's all So we are all done. The next step, what I'm doing, this is optional. I love for my hair to fall in a mohawk. So all I'm doing right here is just taking some bobby pins and pinning the sides of my hair up so it can have more of that mohawk effect. And when it dries, the curls will dry in this shape. And I just take the bobby pins out after my hair dries. So that's all I'm doing right here. Next, I'm just taking a brush and brushing down my sides since I have these a cut and I'm just taking some of the honey almond foam because it's about time for a haircut. So I'm just taking some honey almond foam and applying it to the sides of my hair and then just brushing it down just so you can see the little bit of parts I do have left. Um, I like to get my hair cut every week. So that's why I do in between just to kind of keep it fresh. And I'm just brushing it down Lastly, I'm going to be applying some of this oil, sheen, and conditioning spray. This is like a finisher, a gloss, or a shine. You can spray this on your hair before you sit up on the hooded dryer, or you don't have to sit up on the hooded dryer. You can definitely let it air dry, but if you want to sit up on the hooded dryer, that's your prerogative for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Make sure you do not touch your curls while it's wet. It will cause frizz. Don't style it until it's dry. 
So here is the final look of my curl definition. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If this helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one.